I've heard talk about ProRes 4, yes. very quickly, ProRes 4 is a variable for codec, uh, it's actually as efficient as 42 HQ, it's incredible. Uh, it's, it is a compression wall codec, um, but because it is variable, you don't know if it's going to be 12 bit or 10 bit or whatever yet, we don't know. Yeah, um, um, but um, it will be, uh, I've been using it on EVA 1, 5.7k, on EVA 1 for the SDI, 6G, and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so RAW is an up-and-coming yeah, format true. for video. Um, it's in the high end of video a lot, uh, but it takes a massive amount of processing and storage. This is EVA1 mixed with S4H and a free drive or whatever. Uh, it's short in, some of this was shot in ProRes RAW on the EVA1. And I was going to show you uh, some of the stuff that I've got here. So this is the Pro Red RAW. Yeah, yeah. It's got some of the stuff that's been shot in ProRes RAW. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so yes, well, that was a good time. But uh, we can pull back the highlights. This is shot midday, by the way, in a blue sky, bright sun. Um, and then to show you what I mean by bringing back the highlights, there's on an early timeline video. This is Final Cut Pro, which handles that Pro as well. So look, I'm moving this along here. I'm just trying to show you that highlight recovery. Temperature recovery. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. how it was it seen in the monitor. Look at those blown out. Here we go. Bring it back in. Details for there. I've got really different questions. Yeah. Um, the waveforms. The waveforms. Yeah. The one above. Vectorscope. Vectorscope. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm asking you what's going to be an enormous question. Simple answer. So, do I need, if, for it to be neutral, is it just in the middle? Uh, pretty much so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That line, that line, yeah. 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 that's your skin tone line. Oh. You always push your colouring around to the skin tone. You literally hit that, or just above it, that's how skin tones are affected. Okay. And we will use vectors cover. Yeah. You don't want to be any out to this in squares. Yeah. Uh, the RGB and the secondary colours don't go outside of those as you're blowing out the colour, the, the, the final uh, spectroscope, so the colours are going all over the place. Because we so have we these spectroscopes on Scope. GH5S and on um, S1RH again, but I have no idea how to use it. Uh, without the ProRes, uh, the final code, you've got the uh, full use of uh, control of the you know, luminance. Mid-tones, uh, the dial control, which you can see in the Vinci, and uh, they all do it their own way. Um, but yeah, I mean, really, really easy. Stick on a lot, camera lot. Uh, that's the V-log at the end here. I think I've got one of the lots of mine, which is going on to the end. Is this video also available online, or is this one of your training videos? This is videos? what I can send you this now. Yeah, no, no, don't send it to that's me. That's a grab of. Um, that's me just picking one of my over 100 vlog guns I've done. Um, dropping it in, and you can see it goes in yeah. overlaid on RAW. So Apple Pro Res RAW, yeah, it, it comes in as vlog in Final Cut Pro. You drop a lot on it, and then you can pull back the height, you can pull back the temperature, and obviously your shadows and highlights, you can do what you need to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not good like that for this particular scene, but it's just showing you and demonstrating um, how easy it is to get around the the Pro with Apple Pro as well. That's why it's great. Right. 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 The HFRs, the VFRs, and all these different animals, if you want them. It's on your website now, is it? Uh, the, old, the S1 set is, the S1 set, I'm nearly finished. The S1 set is free to download on my site. Um, I'm going to go through, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Remember, you have angles in the S1H, so the 180 degree shutter, no matter what frame you break and put it at, it'll always double it. So you don't have to worry about seconds, like in the photo photography, 450 shutter, yeah. It's the same as 
that if you're shooting at 24p or 25p. We have angles on here, like pro cameras do, or decibels, and the decibel video cameras. But the 180 degree rule means that motion blur between two adjacent frames is the correct yeah. kind of vision motion blur. Yeah? So show them what happens. If you don't get it right, this is what we always like to show, isn't it? We carry it. Um, when I first saw this on YouTube, I'm like, oh, my goodness. So I'm basically a really high, fast shot speed. It's trapped in there, how can you This is really, in video terms, this should be falling down to the ground. That 